Hey guys, welcome back to a new tutorial on Autodesk Fusion 360. Today I'll be talking about how, um, uh, how uh, today we'll be learning how to make the garbage can on top of here. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial. Um, it'll be quite heavy on my computer though because we're going to be making some, uh, some complex extrudes. Not really complex, it's just a lot, but let's see how it goes. Anyway, so first off, let's start by looking at the diagram. So, if you don't know where this is, this was the page we were on. So, just switch to the next page. Uh, we'll primarily be using this one and this one. So, basically, the front and the top view for this. So, first, what I want to, how I want to construct this is, I want to make the base first. Right? I want to make all these measurements first. Then I'm going to take the inner layer here, which is basically this big thing, and just pull it up um to the height and the height over here the total height here would be 87 meters and we know this is three this is three so that's 86. unfortunately I, sorry guys i haven't defined the parameters for these and this so that's if that, that that's 65. what i'm thinking is that's going to be seven and that's going to be nine millimeters over there so let's just work with that but first let's get this part done so what i want to do is i want to first sketch an 80 uh 80 millimeter diameter circle. So let's do that and let's work from there. Uh, let's just hide the shaft for now. Because it'll be a lot easier to work. Um, go sketch. So select this surface, sketch. C for circle. And pull it out. 80. Perfect. Uh, so now what we can do is, instead of drawing multiple circles, let's just, let's just subtract from that using the offset tool. So next I want to do 74, then 70, then 64. So what do I do? So from 80, I need to go to 74, which means I need to offset this. So O on your keyboard for offset. I need to offset this negative six millimeters to get 74. Perfect. Now let's offset this. Now, the next one was, I think, 70, right? That, okay. Oh, okay, let's just do that then. So, I had to offset 6 here. Basically, I need to go to 70, right? So, from 80 to 70, that's 10. I need to go negative 10. Perfect. Um, and then, again, an off another offset. Now, I need to go to 64. So, that is neg that's 80 to 64, which is a 16. Uh, let's select this curve, the original curve, as it said, and then let's go negative 16. Wow. That's a big one. Okay. Anyway. Let's get this started then. Okay. So, just to make sure we've gotten everything correct. That is looking alright, but that should match. Um, let's go here. Yes, that's looking good. So now what we can do is let's start extruding this. So first, let's extrude this part, main part. So hit E on your keyboard. I'm gonna select that, and we said 87 millimeters. So hit 87, and yay! Ourselves a little garbage can. Nice. Now uh, let's go to sketches because I want to see those sketches again, and let's just uh, view the last one. By default, it turns off the sketches so you can work easier, but in this case, we actually want to see those. Um, and each of these were three millimeters up, right? So if this goes three, me three millimeters up, and this goes three millimeters above it, that means this goes a total of six millimeters. Feel free to reference the diagram as I'm speaking. Um, e for extrude. So let's extrude this up six millimeters. Perfect. And finally, extrude this. Up three millimeters. Nice. So now I'm getting some type of shape. For that. And yeah, now we can turn that off because it is annoying. So much better. Anyway, um, perfect. That's looking good. Now let's work with this. I, I want to add fillets to this at the very end. You might have noticed that in the diagram because that's just the way I work. I want to get the circles, the circular patterns, and so on done for that. So let's do this. Let's go to the very top now because if you look at this, right, it's a six diameter uh, circle. 
So, how do I want to do this? Um, okay, so that's kind of weird. Anyway, six diameters. Uh, so let's go to the very top and let's offset a plane down seven millimeters and let's work from there. So let's go here. Um, let's offset a plane first. So let's click on this. Basically, we want to work somewhere in the middle over here, right? So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset a plane. So I'm going to take a plane from here, this plane, and I'm going to just click on the top over here so it sends it all the way to the top. But I don't want it that high. I want it 7 millimeters less. So that's 207 minus 7 is 200. That brings it right there. Enter. And that offsets the plane. Now you'll see why I'm going to do this in a sec. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to create a sketch on that weird plane that I just made. And here, what I want to do is, let's go to C for circle. And I want to, just on this point, just right there, let's make a circle of six, right? Now we have that circle. What my plan is now is what we can do. Um, so if I hit escape now, you can see a circle there and it's just stuck somewhere in the middle, right? Half of it is inside, half of it is outside, which means if I extrude this downwards, it's going to create like a groove exactly how you see over here. That's my plan. And basically, if I extrude the 65 millimeters down, that's going to create one of these grooves and I can I have to create 30 of those. So then I can create a circular pattern of features around it and I can quickly compute this, which is what we're going to do now. So go ahead and finish sketch. Um, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go extrude. And let's go negative 65. Enter and make sure your operation is cut, of course. You have one groove ready. Perfect. This is exactly where we need to be. Now, here comes a cool part. I can repeat this 30 times. So uh, to do that, let's go to create and pattern, circular pattern. Let's go, no, I, let's go pattern type, features. Now for this feature, I want to select this extrude that I just created. And the axis, well, because this is in the center of everything, you just go select this green axis right here. Now I've selected three. I want 30 of these, so I'm going to put another zero over here. And you see a bunch of these check marks. Make sure all of them are checked because, and basically you can uncheck them where you want to in case you just, in case you don't want that, but I want all of them there. Compute option, let it be adjust, and hit OK. And it's done it. So if you can zoom in, We can see that it's computed everything and we've gotten all of these ready. Okay. Second. 30 grooves. Okay. So the plan says there are 30, right? Time for some improvisation because this does not look that great, right? Okay, so let's control Z this and let's try to do. Um, Another pattern with lesser number. So again, features, make sure features are selected. I want that extrude. Axis, green line. Instead of 30, let's do 25. See how that looks? That's looking okay. Press enter. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Yeah, let's keep it as 25. I'll make that mistake and re upload it in the description. Um, I'll make that. I'll, I'll fix that. Definitely. Sorry about that. Anyway, so now we have twenty-five of these. Right. What we can do now is we just have to fill it this because we're pretty much done with the main garbage can. So let's go to here, and let's just see what we need to fill it. So we're looking at point fives over here. On the top, I haven't specified it, but just eyeballing it, that kind of looks like a one, one, one mm. mm. Uh, all of these over here are 2 mm's. Uh, we don't need to fill these ones on the outside because let, that, let them stay like that. It gives it a nice texture. So now let's, let's just work on this. Um, 
Okay, so let's go here and let's fill up these fonts first. So F. So select all of these. Go 0 0.5. Enter. And we have that ready. Now what we want to do is we want to fill it these. So let me try something. Let's go F. Now I'm just going to select this entire face. And if I go 2mm, yeah, that doesn't look great. Never mind. So instead, let's select um, this one and shift select that. So I have two edges. Right? If I press F and I give these two 2mm's, that's looking good. Now let's try to put another circular feature for this. What if I create circular pattern features? I'm going to select this fillet, right? Axis. I want my green axis, and I want 25 of these. Hit enter. Nice. Okay, that failed um excuse me for that so what we're gonna do is we have to yeah manually do each of these so i'm gonna do this in preparation for the next video because it's gonna take some time uh so just manually shift select all of these and press fill it yes um if i find a better way i will let you know in the next video sorry about that guys and that's it for this one just finish up these and yeah let's just put two mm fillet on the top uh, sorry one mm that's enough for today. I'm just going to finish these. Make sure you finish these in your own time. And in the next video, we're going to get, um, we're going to start making uh, some adjustments to this garbage can, I guess, and maybe the lid. And then finally, we're going to sculpt it. Sculpt the head up. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry about the technical issues. And see you in the next one. Thank you.